Now let's uh, look at some of the common measures of investment risk. The, in the initial stages, I'll talk about uh, three important measures of investment risk which are quite basic in nature. One is variance, two is semi-variance and three, I'll talk about shortfall probability. So these are the three major uh, measures of investment risk that we'll look at right now. So just look at this uh, question. The different kinds of returns that are expected along with their associated probabilities is given to us. So if I take this into a spreadsheet just to understand it, I'm talking about state the return percentage and the probability of a particular return. So it is said that there is a, a 50% chance, 0.5 probability that the return is 10%. Then there is a 30% chance that the return will be 20%. There is a probability of 0.3. And uh, there is a probability of 0.2 that the return is going to be 50%. So in this kind of a situation, we are asked to evaluate three different measures of investment risk. So I'll talk about these three different kinds of measures. And wherever necessary, we assume a benchmark return of 25. For computing the shortfall probability, we require the benchmark. But for computing the variance, I require the mean return, so our expected return, which comes out as the weighted average of these three and a summation. So here, if I am doing the return multiplied by the probability, so in this case, I am multiplying this with this. Similarly, I will multiply this with this. And I will also multiply this with this overall I add up which will give me that the mean probability return the mean return mean return of the uh, portfolio or security whatever it is is going to be 21 percent now from this perspective if i want to compute the variance so if i have to compute the variance all i'm subtracting is all i'm doing is i'm subtracting the mean from each of the returns right so the the return minus the mean return and i'm doing the squaring of that so let me call this as some x return minus the mean square. So which is coming out as the return minus the mean square. So this is what is coming out as x return minus the mean return square. And now we multiply x with the probability. To compute the variance, uh, we are multiplying x with the probability and finally trying to add up. So in this case, the variance comes out to me as the summation of these three, which will work out as 0 0.0229. This is what is uh, coming out as the variance of this portfolio. Now. The other one which I am saying is I'll do the semi-variance. Now, in case of semi-variance also, I will compute the return minus the mean square itself. But the difference in this case is this is computed only in case the return is below the mean return. 
So I'll put one condition saying if this uh, return is lesser than the mean return, if this return is lesser than the mean return, then I will do this the return minus the mean return square. Otherwise, I will not compute it, means I will get it as 0 itself. So, this is what is the difference that comes in case of, uh, in case of uh, the semi-variance. And, uh, of course, this time I will do the same multiplication by P probability. So, this multiplied by the corresponding probability and overall being taken towards the summation of the semivariance goes as the summation of these three lining up in 0 0.00608. <coughs> so this is the number that is working out as semivariance. And finally, one more measure that I can be interested in is the shortfall probability which is I am trying to add up those probabilities, right? I am trying to uh, add up those probabilities wherein the return is lesser than the mean return. So I want to add up wherein the return, wherein the return is wherein the return is less than the mean return wherein the return is less than the mean return 25 20 uh, uh, or uh, here i am taking it as a benchmark so wherein the return is lesser than 25 percent which is the a benchmark return I'm going to add up those probabilities. So the shortfall is coming out to 0.8 in this case because to have less than 25% means these are the two returns and the probabilities corresponding to them is coming out to 0.8. So that's how I can uh, evaluate the three different measures of investment risk which are the variance, the semi-variance, and the shortfall probability. All right. So that's, uh, that uh, gives us a basic uh, information about how do I typically compute the different measures of investment risk.